Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about some Botox and some filler. You guys had some questions about Botox and filler on my Instagram and I thought I'd answer them in a video like this just cause it's easier to explain and you guys can kinda of get the gist of what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Okay, so I'm gonna start with Botox cause I got Botox first and then I had filler. I actually had it, I think I had it all done in one setting. No, I think I had Botox first and then I went back for filler. So let me tell you my experience is um, a lot of you guys have been asking, does it hurt? Sorry, I keep looking out the window because it's raining. Um, a lot of you guys ask if it hurts. Botox does not hurt and I don't even get uh, like numbing cream or anything. I do like put a little bit of the cold compress but honestly it doesn't hurt at all it's a very small needle and it's a very small injection at a time um, I personally get 50 units um, I started at 30 and I needed to go to 50 uh, Botox does not last very long on me and that's another question is how long does it last um, for me it could last anywhere from two to five months five months max does not last me six months um, don't know why it doesn't last me as long as a lot of people, but, um, I've had Botox, like 40 units of Botox in my forehead and laugh lines. I'll show you guys everything that I've done and it doesn't last very long. I don't know. I don't know why, but I'm, I don't know if it's like a fast metabolism or what, but like literally two months later it was completely gone and I could move my forehead and stuff like that. But right now I'm good to go. I had about 50 units actually, and I went back and got 10 more. So I had 60 units of Botox. Um, so yeah, um, I can't move my forehead, um, and my eyebrows, which I love because I have a really deep set wrinkle in my eyebrows that I hate so much. It almost looks like a scar once Botox is not there. Um, so it's more of a preventative for me and also I am aging. I'm 31. So I feel like, um, a good age to start Botox. This is relatively up to anybody. Um, but for me, I started Botox at 29 right after I had my daughter, um, I was feeling a little bit bad about myself and my I had a lot of skin issues so Botox really helped um, improve my self-esteem so we're gonna get into how it feels how many units again and then where on my face I get Botox and things like that so for Botox like I said it doesn't hurt at all I'm looking at myself because I want to see if I can move my face but I can't so the main place I got Botox is here and my eyebrows um, then I got all across my forehead and then I get my crow's feet uh, which are actually coming back because it's been a while so um, yeah last two two to five months on me a lot of people say it lasts six months um, but yeah this is me smiling and laughing and trying to make a surprise face um, as you can see I can squint my eyes but that is as much movement as I can give you guys right now. Um, I don't get any um, furrow in my brow or anything because it doesn't move. And I had that done about a month ago, this part. Uh, my forehead I had about in October and it's now January, so it's been a while. Um, yay! But yeah, so that is my Botox journey. Uh, cost of Botox, it could... So, okay, so I get a friends and family discount because I know the girl that does it. But it could, it could cost anywhere from $10 up to $20, sometimes even more, depending on where you go. I recommend to go to a dermatologist's office or a very highly skilled person because Botox is not anything to take lightly. It could make your brow go down. It could make your brows go up. Um, it could really kind of mess with your facial features, so you've got to be careful with that. Also, um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, so just kind of keep that in mind uh, that it, this this kind of stuff is not anything that you can go willy-nilly and get it done. I really recommend to look at people's work, look at the establishment, and even look at the reviews and everything like that just because you don't want to mess up your face. Your face is your face. You only get one face. Okay. With that being said, I'm going to start with filler because filler is actually more of a dangerous thing in my perspective um, because of where I get it done and also you have to make sure that you know you there's there's consequences to all these all these things um, someone could have a dirty needle uh, you can get necrosis of the face where if, if you get um, I believe this is what it is it like dies off like a piece of your skin you could go blind 
just so many things can happen that you need to take into account um, because right when I got filler and stuff, I was like, oh, it's just filler. You know, it's a chemical that's in your body. Not necessarily, um, you guys have to Google whatever, you know, filler is made out of and stuff like that. But technically, yes, it's made in your body. Um, but also, it's the technique of the person, how the injector is, how clean they are, if it's an reputable office things like that I don't want to be kind of negative but you really 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 have to do your research with this okay so I get my filler all in my tear troughs um, I do have a very prominent vein of head since I was little since I was born um, that's always showed there people almost like oh my god you have a black eye I'm like no 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 it's it's my it's my freaking vein but um, yeah so I get it all here and then sometimes in my cheeks and my cheekbones which I actually love but I don't have right now I only have the tiniest bit under here um okay so filler could last up to six to nine months or six to 12 months it could last two years if you get voluma there's so many types of filler i right now i get um juvederm left because i do have um problems in my jowls but that's another thing i kind of want to go over with you guys um also filler is quite expensive uh it could range up to for a whole syringe some people you can buy half syringe but my place you have to buy a whole syringe it could be 600 to a couple thousand dollars just depending on what you want to get done but yeah filler is very expensive and it's probably why a lot of people don't get filler um, because it's very expensive um, also yeah it hurts <laughs> you do have numbing cream numbing cream always gets in my eyes I'm a I'm not a crier, I don't cry, but my eyes just water big time. No matter what, even if I get Botox, filler, anything, my eyes, they water no matter what because it is very close to your sinuses. No, they don't hit your sinuses or anything. But I don't know if you've ever had a feeling where like you itch your head and you wanna sneeze. It's that kind of feeling when I get Botox, um, uh, it's in that area where you just kinda wanna sneeze and your eyes water, things like that. So. That's just me. I'm like, I'm, every time I, uh, my girl does my thing, she goes, I know you're not crying. I'm like, yeah, I know I'm not crying, but my eyes are watering so bad because that's just the reaction that I have um, just because it makes me want to sneeze and just makes my eyes water. Um, it doesn't hurt. Botox doesn't hurt, but filler, yes, it does hurt. Um, it's more of like a tugging sensation uh, and you can feel it going in and um, also you can hear it almost sounds like a like a like a plastic bag crinkling that's what filler sounds like when it's going into your skin Botox does have a crunch they call it the Botox crunch but it's like that's what it sounds like in your head but the um but the filler is just kind of crazy it sounds like literally it sounds like a um like a plastic bag crinkling each time like I love it <laughs> okay so my experience has been always been great um the first time i got filler was a lot more uh full which i loved um i had really full under eyes i think it lasts me almost a year you guys so juvederm lift lasts a long time it is i think a thicker product but i'm not quite sure you guys have to google each one of these things a lot of people sometimes people do um restylane under the eyes because it's a more malleable product but my girl's very skilled. She injects on the bone. And the thing is you have to be careful because if you do a cannula needle, you, there's very sensitive um, veins by your eye and you could get your eye pierced with, um, not pierced, but the, what's that called? The, the needle can hit an artery and you could go blind. So you had to be careful. And it's literally every time I get a uh, filler, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. But she has a technique where she does it a certain way where um, it's least likely to happen. But, you know, every, all things, accidents do happen, which is very scary. But um, so, yeah, she injects me here. The tear troughs uh, just give me a little bit more fullness in the cheek because I am losing volume. And then in the cheekbone, which I haven't had done in about two years, which I miss. But I'm not going to get filler for a, a while now um, just because, um, yeah, I'm just not going to get it done. Um... Yeah, so that's what I've had done. It hurts. They put numbing cream on, the numbing cream. Um, the filler itself has lidocaine in it too, so afterwards you might feel like one side's bigger than the other or like you feel weird, but it's because it's like like how when you go to the dentist, it numbs your your like teeth in your mouth. Um, the filler that I have, Juvederm Lift, uh, does numb your face once you get it done. It goes away kind of like the dentist, but it does help with pain okay so pain afterwards botox you feel no pain nothing um some people get headaches i don't get headaches 
um, but the filler, yes. Um, sometimes I'm, I, got, I get a little, like my face feels um, just bruised. Like, you know when you get a bruise and you just, when you get a bruise and it's kind of like hot a little bit. So it gets hot and it feels like a bruise, but that only lasts for about a day or like the night. And then I just take Advil and go to bed um, and it's fine. But yeah, I love the results. And I am more of a natural kind of gal. I rather look like myself than look like puff face. So um, yeah, that's just how I roll. I'm trying to think of anything else that you guys asked me. Uh, what age, I was 29. I, I told you guys how much I paid. Um, okay, let me look in my things here. I just really want you guys to do your research and I want you to know that this is not something that's like, oh, everybody gets lip injections, let's go. Like, you have to be careful because even if people inject towards your lips or Botox here, you know you have marionette lines that have so many um, nerves and things like that. It can make your mouth do this, you can't smile. So you have to be very careful. Like, I think a lot of people just don't think, take into account, um, into account that things can happen that are very um, scary because it is your face. Okay, any side effects? No, like I said, just bruising. First time I got it done, I'm stupid, and I took a Advil before, and that thins out your blood. So I bruised really bad the time before um, with my filler. Botox does not bruise you at all for me. Um, but yeah, so just don't take Advil before you go. Take it after, but don't take it before. Okay, so the thing is, what's more noticeable to me? Everything. Uh, Botox <laughs> saved my life. But I, like, made, not made my sister, but I was telling my sister, like, dude, this, like it is so good you have to go try it so I went with her and she went to my girl and she's like I'm never going back I'm never going back but my makeup goes on smoother um, it's just I can tell in my face that I feel so good about myself when I have Botox um, and then the filler I love it just makes me feel a little bit more awake and like I said I don't go crazy I literally look like this um, in real life uh, like without filler except for the Botox like my my forehead usually moves but now it doesn't but yeah the filler like literally it's so minimal that uh, you can't really tell especially right now but yeah um, I want some cheeks to to just lift me up here um, so they say if you get injected in the cheeks it'll lift you up so then you don't have to worry about your jowls but yeah I am 31 now and I've been doing it for two years and I love it and um, I can, will continue on doing it. Uh, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, you don't need it. Well, that's up to you. It's up to you if you want to do it. You know what I mean? For me, I'm never going back and I love it. But it's expensive. It's a very expensive. It's like, in a, it's a maintenance. It's like getting your hair done. It's very, ex and your nails done. It can get pricey, but you got to think about it like you just twice a year for filler or even once if you want to do it 12 months but I just twice twice a year I got to save that up on the side and then Botox kind of sucks because it doesn't last very long on me so I would say about four times a year five times a year I'll go sometimes I'll let my wrinkles kind of go um, if I don't have like the money and the funds to go but honestly I scrape that shit together so I can get my Botox because like literally I'm a new woman when I get it done. It's like getting your hair done. You just feel so good. But yeah, Botox doesn't kick until seven days. Filler is instant. You could see the results right away. And that is the end of my video. I feel like I've been rambling, but that is my experience with Botox and fillers and how I feel on it. If you guys want to get it done, you get it done. If you want to go overboard and get the big old cheeks bones and get all angular, go ahead and do it, girl. If you feel good, do it. Um, and big lips like I almost wanted to get lip injections. I don't have lip injections I only have my eyes done and then Botox. That's it. I don't have any lip injections or anything But yeah, so there's the end of my video I hope you guys liked it if you have any questions leave them down below if I left anything out until next time I will see you guys later